There are many gaps in the world between the rich and the poor, and I have discovered there is a tremendous gap between those of us who are mobile and those who are not. We assume that uh, in this country, if you lose the use of your legs, you can get a wheelchair, you can get an electric wheelchair, you can get a van equipped for uh, driving by impaired persons. But around the world, we find there are some 22 million, that's a guess, but it's a good guess, 22 million persons who are immobile. These persons have lost the use of their legs, um, and some through landmines, some through polio, some through uh, birth defects, some through accidents, even crocodile bites. These persons, uh, 22 million, have no mobility. They are often kept away in back rooms, dark rooms. They are treated as less than human. Uh, their families often are embarrassed about them uh, because they have the old belief that they've sinned some way and this is God's uh, punishment for their sinning. I was working with a missionary in uh, what was then uh, Zaire, today it's Congo, Larry and Laura Hills, and they said we need three-wheeled hand-cranked wheelchairs for the sturdily built for the many, many persons we have here who lost the use of their legs by polio. We designed about, went through about four or five prototypes got the one we thought would work, sent it to Larry and said, sent four over. Put this in the worst place you can and see how it works. Uh, he put it out in the terrible conditions and it did what they wanted to do and then we began production. It makes a tremendous, dramatic difference in the life of the recipient. They get up off the ground where they've been looking at people's feet and not looking them in the face. They've been eating the dust of the automobiles. They've been crawling in the mud over the sharp rocks and stones and mud and uh, they become dignified, productive uh, human beings living in much more comfort and uh, much more dignity.